Hello, this is Holly again. So today's topic is decision making. So um, I used to struggle with this and I just wouldn't make a decision until I was pressed into a corner and then I had to choose and I would just like blindly stab out and choose something. So I want to encourage you to, if you have a big decision to make, I mean, sometimes, oh, should I wear the blue shoes or should I wear the red shoes? Whatever, wear the red shoes, wear the blue shoes, whatever matches your outfit, whatever floats your boat. But there are other times when the decision can have um, an impact on us, our relationships, our family, our careers. So the biggest thing is to decide what are you trying to decide? Because sometimes what seems to be the decision isn't what is really the decision. Like, you know, should I just call in sick today at work? <laughs> Maybe um, do I want to change jobs? Because calling in sick to work, Never recommend it if you want to continue there, especially if it happens too often. Okay, so then um, the next thing is why is it meaningful to you? Why? What? What's important about this? What aspects of this are crucial? Because a lot of times, again, we're seeing only part of the issue. So we want to be able to look at the whole thing as a whole and say, okay, so this is going to affect my husband. This is going to affect the cat whatever it is, okay? But kind of think through what it is. First of all, we need to define what we're trying to do, okay? What effect will it have? Who, who will it impact besides me? If I just quit my job, it's gonna impact my workplace because um, they won't have a replacement for me. Um, what, it depends on, again, what kind of workplace, what kind of job, but it's gonna have an impact. Even if, you know, all your coworkers now gotta pick up your slack and do your part, parts of your job, to you know keep things moving along um, what effect will it have if you don't make a decision so this is one of those to kind of push you to yeah I need to make a decision pretty soon and then maybe set a deadline for yourself in two weeks I'm gonna have made this decision and I will start planning for that and you know I mean a lot of times it is more of an in-the-moment thing but sometimes it, we can think about it sleep on it kind of thing and maybe come to a better decision because we paused and stopped and looked at it again as a whole. Okay, so then when do you need to make the choice? Um, there's sometimes when there is a time element that if you don't decide this, then something else is going to happen. Okay, and sometimes healthcare issues are one of those that if I don't decide to go to the doctor because I'm scared that I have cancer by not choosing to go to the doctor i'm choosing to live with this terrible fear in my mind and so again what are the consequences of this yes i know that i have cancer but we caught it as soon as possible so then the chances for therapy you know chemo whatever may be the best choice that you catch it early but a lot of people when they don't like what it is they may ignore it so that again we want to make a timely decision don't wait until you're pressed into a corner and you're like oh you have stage four lung cancer we're just going to send you home and give you some drugs because <clears throat> nothing else to do okay um so then what the results were going to be so again with the decision making um i tend to be very paper note list happy um write the your perceptions and that's saying your perception can be very different than mine um your perception is I won't be popular at work, not gonna even affect me. I don't care that I'm popular at work, not a big thing for me. So um, what what is important to you and what is negative to you? So it's, it's again, we're deciding this is a positive result of doing this, this is a negative result of doing this and kind of list them all out and see where you are. Um, again, I like to list them all out leave it set for a day or two, then come back and read it and go, yeah, that one really doesn't matter. Oh, this is not so important. Or, oh, that's not that terrible if it does happen. And then again, you get a much firmer sense of what you want to do, what you want to accomplish, and then how to proceed towards that goal. Um, the consequences of not doing it or not deciding are typically worse than deciding a wrong thing, making a bad decision. Um, so going to the doctor, I found out I don't have cancer. I had a lump under one arm and I was like, oh my God, it's breast cancer. It's breast cancer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, panic. Yeah. Cause I, 
I haven't had breast fam breast cancer in my family, but it's one of those things that it's just always on your mind. Oh, there's a lump. In there. It was actually a plugged sweat gland because of my deodorant and nothing happened. They said, yeah, put this warm compress on it and go home. <laughs> so I didn't die of cancer. Um, but things that we dread, like going in and telling your boss you're quitting or, um, breaking up with a, a boyfriend or a spouse, it, we tend to make it bigger than it needs to be. So sometimes listing out the, you know, what are the consequences of this that are positive? What are the consequences of this that are negative? Sorting it through what you, you know, it helps you determine what you want. And you may find yourself trying to add things to the positive column or to the negative column because you really don't want that. And that's another reminder for us to think about this what what is this what are we trying to decide what are the consequences what is the timeline what is the impact okay because it's not just an impact in you only unless you live alone in the woods um 50 miles from the nearest place then whatever decisions you make yes they're only for you but there's probably even with that case there's probably somebody that loves you that lives in town whereas you know if you decide to wrestle that uh badger and you die they would miss you. So um, the point of this is the decision making, approach it as a project instead of just blue shoes, red shoes, because it's the thing, it's typically not that. It's more of, you know, what will my career be like? What will happen? What will, you know, how will this affect my family? Um, how will this affect us financially? Will I make as much money? Will I, will I, could I, did I, you know, I mean, there's a million questions. So that's why sitting down and writing out the pros and cons is a really good way to kind of weigh what's happening, what could happen. Um, sitting down with a best friend or a spouse and discussing this and say, well, what do you see happening if I decide A? And then they, you know, well, I think this will happen. I think that'll happen. And it's a good career move and whatever. So then sitting down with them, getting a different person's feedback on it, they may see something that you totally missed that's a huge consequence or a huge benefit that you just totally, because you're so wound up in the day-to-day, minute-by-minute responses that you tend to miss these things. So um, decision-making, especially for bigger decisions, I um, encourage you to sit down and evaluate what you want to decide, when you need to decide, why is it meaningful for you, what effect will it have on you and others, and then when do you need to make this choice, okay? Usually we can wait a week, you know, but then um, sitting down, writing it out, looking at it again, you'll find yourself leaning towards one of one or the other of those, you know, yes, I'm going to do this. No, I'm not. Like for me, starting my own business was a huge thing because I value stability <laughs> and uh, financial security, which starting your own business is never going to be one of those things. A um, lot of extra work, a lot of extra time, um, financial insecurity. So for me, it was a big decision, but I was just like, as long so I made some planning and some arrangements and I am starting my own business as you may have noticed um, but the biggest thing for me is how can I mitigate what's negative and how can I um, influence the positive parts so that they're better so again when you're making this decision maybe do some of that as well how can I mitigate the financial thing so for me it was to work this tax season and get that income and I could put it away and then use it all year because I was making enough money that I could pay myself my usual salary throughout the year. So that's how I mitigated the craziness of starting my own business. And then COVID came along and uh, all the plans were gone. Um, so one of the things, I guess, the biggest thing I want you to take away from this is that sit down and think about what it is, write out. When you write things down, they're much more real for our brains and our minds. Um, so decision-making as a tool, not as A or B and move along, okay? There are those kind of decisions. Should I wear shoes today or should I wear my slippers? <laughs> Since I'm at home all the time, I wear my slippers. Um, but yeah, decision-making can be a tool um, for growth, for change, and for happiness. Okay, so I would like to see you next week. 
please let me know what you think of this and what decisions you're trying to make in your life right now. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again next week.